Welcome back to CFISD 360, the show where we share some of the best news and sports stories and show you a 360 view of the district. I'm Raiden Bailey from CW Media from Cypress Woods High School. It's election time and today we come to you from Spillane Middle School, one of CFISD's many polling sites. CFISD voters have cast their ballots to elect members to the Board of Trustees, selecting from a pool of 11 new candidates and three incumbents running for positions 5, 6, and 7. Natalie Blossom Game wins position 5, and candidates Scott Henry and Lucas Scanlon win positions 6 and 7. Congratulations to the Bridland, Cy Woods, and Jersey Village High School bands for outstanding programs in the area contest and advancing to state. It is very exciting to represent CFISD and Bridgeland at the state marching competition because we worked so hard with long practices after school and over the summer. It's a wonderful achievement for the band program and the kids are definitely looking forward to the trip. It's really remarkable to me how far they've come and it was just unbelievable for us to see that hard work and dedication pay off with a real win on Saturday. The Class 6A contest is set for November 8th and 9th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Time now to go beyond the score with CFISD Sports. Thanks, Raiden. I'm Kylie Flores from JVTV at Jersey Village High School. The Jersey Village Falcons are flying high after defeating Stratford High School 28-21 to capture the District 17 6A title. Jersey Village head football coach David Snookhouse shares how proud he is of his team's efforts this season. They've all bought in, and then we bring in a guest speaker, and Miss Wiley came in there and said, one team, one go, and uh, we've sort of grew with that and took off ran with that and we've played well uh, we've we've took advantage of some breaks to, to get us there and you know we've been pretty successful right now the class 6a cross country state championship is november 6th in round rock and cfisc will be well represented with runners from cy ridge cy springs and bridgeland i'm just glad i have my teammates and coach behind me helping me every step of the way i never thought you know when i first started out this season, I was going to represent CFIZ, but it's an honor. We have a lot of great runners in this district, and I just feel privileged. It's our last year, so honestly, that added a lot more motivation to make it to state this year. Three trips in four years, it, it is a big deal. Overall, I guess it just sort of says that uh, the program's consistent, the girls work really hard, and keep plugging along. Thanks, Kylie. That does it for this edition of CFISD 360. Thanks for joining us as we show how CFISD is bringing out the best.